Hi, one of the most common questions I get from a Cricut user that's new to importing SVG files, um, they, they actually email me or contact me and say, hey, the score lines are not scoring in the pr proper place. So this video will show you how to, what we call attach the score lines in design space so they'll score in the correct place. This is just the way Design Space works. Some of the other die, most of the other die cutting software does not work this way. It cuts and scores exactly where you see it. So because it is a separate portion of the file, so if I click on this grad, this is the graduation um, explosion box. Um, and you can see over here, if I go to the right, it's highlighted, the grad box bottom. And you see there's two sections to this SVG file. One's the main cut section, and this, as you can see, is highlighting the score lines. If I were just to try to cut it this way, this is what would happen. And you can see I have other score lines as well. I'm going to click Make It. And what you'll find out is, you see that cut right there? See there's no score line shown? We're going to go to the next mat. Same thing, no score lines. So what happens, scrolling down here, I'm scrolling to find it, it's right here. You'll see a mat that has these weird score lines. Now that just means it's not attached, so that tells you you didn't attach a score line, so I'm going to show you how right now. I'm going to cancel out of this. So with each file, you can either keep these to cut, which it would cut a bunch of dash lines if you didn't have a score tool or score wheel for the maker. Um, really depends. I would always recommend that you use the solid line version of our files. And if you want to know what those are, most files, especially the newer ones, there's another folder called solid score lines. So let me open that up so you can see it. So when you open up the, when you um, unzip a file, usually see contents like this. The PDF file, which is a reference, and or there, there are actually assembly instructions in some of them. And then the picture of the finished product. And then under SVG files, where you get all the, the files. So these are the ones by default that are dashed lines. Any files that have score lines in them, there's another version under solid score lines folder. So those are the three files that are in there. So I'll, I'll just bring one in so you can see it. There's another video on this and why you would use a score line, solid score line versus a dash score line. So we're going to say upload. And let's just take the same one, the bottom. I'm just going to drag it in. So I'm going to insert it. I insert it by accident the other one. So ha here we have, I'm going to move these around so we can see. Here we have this one and this one. So the solid line, if you were to use that, um, if you came over here and you see right here, if you change that to score, and you would have to change it to score because if you kept it at cut, it would cut the whole thing out. You would go to the left at the upper left and change it to score. Okay, but there's another step and the same thing here. For some reason, um, like I said, if you have a score wheel, then I would utilize the solid score version. If you don't have one and you ha have only a blade, then that's where the dash lines come in. Or with very uh, detailed 3D um, cuts, you probably want to use the dash line still because I don't believe the score wheel or score tool really properly scores, but that's up to you. With time, you'll know which one's better for you. So let's say I wanted to keep this. I can always come over here and that dash line. We want to keep it at cut. Well, it's still not going to cut where it needs to until you attach it. So with that item highlighted, you can see it's highlighted on the right hand side there. You're going to highlight it and down at the bottom you can select attach. So you could also do that with the right click. So we're going to do it with another one. So this is the solid line version. So I already set it to score on the right hand side and then the entire object set to cut. I'm going to highlight that object and I can just right click and say attached. So now those will just 
uh, they'll print and score properly. So let's do the other ones with that, with lines here. So right here, I'm going to keep it at the default of cut. Um, but if you did use a solid line version, you can use score for the for the actual score lines. But you'll see this is an entire group. You can just hit attach at the bottom here. And the same thing, the right click version. I don't have to do anything once I select it because they're grouped together on the right. Um, if I wanted just to cut the dash lines, um, other than, you know, you can change it to score if you'd like up here. Okay. If you if you don't, just go ahead and right click on it and say, I did the wrong one, attach. So now when I go to make it, you'll see that in white, you see all those dashed lines, that's cutting it out. So we're going to go to the next one. That's the same thing. It's cutting out. Anything white is cutting. And then when we come to scoring, this is a solid line version. And the reason I know on the left, you see on the left, the top one above this says cut only. This one says score and cut. So the white line indicates a cut in this preview. And the darker line, dash line, means it's using the scoring tool. So that's also a little hint on what it'll tell you. And then we'll go to the... This one, which I told it, I just attached the dash lines, it's all cut because it's white. So those dash lines will cut. So I hope that makes sense. Um, once you're ready to go, you just go ahead and hit continue and, and cut it out on the machine. And that's how you attach score lines in Cricut Design Space. Thank you for watching.